Five easy steps to riding the bus. Step one, preparing your trip. Hey there, so you're looking to get around Niagara using public transit? Excellent choice. Transit connects us to all parts of our beautiful region, and best of all, it's super easy to use. First, search transit in the Google Play or the App Store. You want this to make planning your trip as easy as possible. From there, choose your starting point and where you want to go. The app will let you know what bus to take, where to take it, and when it arrives. If you need to get a transfer, just ask your bus driver. Now all that's left to do is wait, or obsessively watch over the GPS tracker in real time. Step two, waiting for the bus. You might ask yourself, why do we need to go into details about how to wait for the bus? Well, wait, wait. <laughs> because of Claire. Not again. Make sure you plan to be at the bus stop at least five minutes before it arrives. Once you arrive, stand near the stop. Remain visible, but stand at least one meter back from the curb. If it's raining or snowing, wait inside the bus shelter, but step outside as the bus approaches. Buses will stop at a safe area near the bus stop. Make eye contact with your bus driver or give them a wave to let them know that you want to catch the bus. Just don't make it weird. Step three, boarding the bus. Before boarding, make sure you're getting on the right bus. Check the bus number and the route name. Wait until the bus comes to a complete stop before approaching it. Usually, passengers will leave through the rear door. However, sometimes they'll come through a front. If this happens, just let them come off first. Once it's clear to board, don't crowd or push ahead. Be patient. Enter the bus single file. If there's others ahead of you that have mobility issues or require assistance, let them go on first. Um, I believe it's your turn. Oh, sorry. Basically, be courteous and pay attention to your surroundings when you board. Have an accepted method of payment ready. If you're paying with cash, make sure you have the exact fare. If you need a transfer, now's the time to grab one. Also, if you have any questions, ask the bus driver before you take a seat. Do you ever wish you were living in a musical? You know, just try to keep it bus related. Step four, finding a seat. Seats at the front of a bus are called priority and courtesy seating. These seats are reserved for passengers that may benefit from having a seat close to the front of the bus, such as passengers with mobility issues, seniors, expectant mothers, or adults with small children. If you're sitting in one of these seats and a passenger boards who needs it, please move to another seat or stand to accommodate them. Thank you. If you have to stand, make sure you stand behind the line so you don't distract the driver. Although our drivers are friendly folk, we ask you not to talk to them while we're driving. Make sure to keep the aisle clear. If you have bags, backpacks, groceries, put them on your lap or at your feet. If you have to stand and you have a backpack, put it at your feet just so it makes it easier to walk past you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay, it's all right. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Right, Claire? Step five, exiting the bus. When you get within a block or two of your stop, ring the bell or push the button to let the driver know that you want to get off on the next stop. Make sure the bus is completely stopped. And once the bus is stopped, exit through the rear door. Well, there you have it. Riding the bus is as easy as one, two, three, four, five. I did it. I rode the bus for the first time without any errors. Congrats. I gotta call my mom and tell her. If Claire can do it, so can you. Oh, man. My cell phone! Wait!